So something I haven't done since I've gotten pregnant, I've been a little preoccupied, <laughs> but I haven't done like a little home refresh. And since it's spring, we are gonna take the next two days and get our lives in order, my life. Uh, <laughs> my life needs a little, I need to get, I need to get some things in order. So we're gonna do a little spring clean, a little spring home refresh. And so the first stop is Home Goods to see if there's anything that is spring-like and inspiring. And I just wanna, I need a home decor moment. I'm currently about 24 weeks pregnant and I need to start the nesting process and getting the home ready. So taking the next two days to do so. So let's head into Home Goods and see if there's anything worth bringing home. There's a few things I want to keep an eye out for while I'm here. Maybe like a spring quilt, something to like brighten up the bedroom, as well as maybe like a new wreath, um, some florals for some pots I want to fill, um, and then just some like decor to add around the house. Um, so I actually drove to a home goods about 30, 40 minutes away. That's like always nicely stocked. So fingers crossed we find some good things. found the most stunning dish and I wish it came in like a platter. I've been looking for like a big platter to display like year round. I have this really cool like cookbook stand. It'd be perfect if it was like two or three times that size. Fingers crossed, I keep looking. <laughs> So I may have just found a quilt. I've been very into like a dusty blue. Maybe it's because we're having a boy, um, but I've been kind of drawn to it. But I found this one, which is kind of cool because it has like the tan like accents and flowers, um, which I really like. And the inside, or like the reverse side is also the little flowers. Um, so that might work because it'll work with the bedding that I already have, but add a little pop of color Maybe brighten it up for spring, so maybe we'll take that home and see what it looks like. I'm having pretty decent luck. Um, I was hoping that I could finally find some new lamps for Sawyer and I's room, also in market for some artwork in most places but it's because I'm looking for it can't find it I have secured the goods I ended up finding a few items that I'm really excited about and since I'm up in this area I'm gonna go ahead and hit Costco it's about 10 minutes north um, I desperately need to restock some items so I'm gonna go ahead and get that off the list Somehow, I was able to fill up a whole cart. It's honestly impressive at this point. <laughs> Whew, that absolutely wore me out. Uh, those errands took a little longer than anticipated, but I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I'm um, just wandering around Home Goods and Costco. Found some really good stuff, um, but I am exhausted so i just put away all the cold stuff and then i'm gonna head over to karen's for dinner she's cooking like brisket or something so i'm gonna go enjoy that but whew, that took it out of me good whoa hi maple <laughs> your feet are dirty i just gave you a bath miss mapes Oh. Good morning. We have a very busy but productive day ahead. We're gonna continue like this spring cleaning home refresh. And I'm actually glad I did it this way. Like went shopping yesterday and got everything like I needed and wanted to like restock the house. And then today I can kind of nest and get everything done around the house that I've been kind of putting off and, <laughs> and things that are on my to-do list so it'll feel really, really nice. Oh, and bless my husband. I was getting dressed and he walked in. He's like, can I go get you a coffee? I'm like, yes, I would love that. That's exactly <laughs> what I need to start this busy day. So we're gonna start 
in kind of this kitchen area and just kind of put away some things. Um, it's amazing just how things like accumulate. So we're gonna start by putting away and we'll start working through the house and knocking things off the list. So without further ado, let's get this home reset. Mm. It'll feel so nice. This laundry room definitely needs some work. I think this might be like a bigger organizing project. Um, but for today, I'm just gonna get it put away. Oh, and guess how fun this is. <laughs> our dryer has gone out and our washer sounds like it's on its last leg too. So any laundry that I do, I have to run it over to Karen's house. Luckily, she's only two streets over. But still, it adds an extra layer to doing laundry. So that's fun so maybe this laundry remodel organization will happen sooner than you think definitely the organizing but definitely needs to be redone here too but it's a project for a different day today we're just resetting so let's at least get this room in working order much better in here I feel like I can function. Okay, pregnancy brain over here. <laughs> I forgot that the whole reason I wanted to do this video is because some new furniture arrived, uh, some new chairs from Cheetah, and I am so excited. Um, I'm thinking either in the living room or in our bedroom, but I want to unbox those and get those set up because that'll be a nice little touch in this like home refresh but this pile is driving me nuts <laughs> it's been accumulating for too long i have stuff that needs to go to the storage unit this is stuff that i got yesterday at home goods i have donations and returns so i'm gonna load it up into my car and then when sawyer gets home i'll have him help me unbox these chairs and get those set up um and finally this pile will no longer be right when you walk in. And that always. <laughs> little by little, we will get this house organized and cleaned up today. We got our work cut out for us today, buddy. Yes, we do. All right. My muscles have arrived. <laughs> Let's see what's needed on these. Uh, that was done. <laughs> yeah, I have pregnancy brain. That's why you're here. Is this a rocking chair? No. Oh. It's a swivel chair. For a baby? <laughs> Alright, well the chairs have been unboxed. <laughs> now for the little time lapse of me putting them together. This looks very simple, which is good. Um, I may be able to do this one myself, too. Don't mind me, I'm gonna put these together and then we will reset that living room and see how it looks. <sighs> One of two chairs is done. Man, this is comfy. I like this. All right, let's do the second one real quick. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> okay, so you guys know that I have been trying to work on this living room for quite some time. Um, it is still a work in progress. But something I've been really wanting to do and something I really like the look of is like two side chairs in a living room. So I ended up teaming up with Cheetah to refresh the living room. And I am so excited to see what two chairs look like in this room. So my future plan is to get a longer sofa. Um, you guys already saw that I 
tried. We ended up returning the previous one, so I have to go and test out a new sofa. But I wanna do a longer sofa. Either do one of these chairs on each side or move both of these chairs over there. But it is just so exciting to see what two chairs look like in this room. These would also be really cute in our bedroom with like a little table in the middle. But there was just something about this particular chair that I really liked. Um, I liked the shape of the arm. I loved the walnut uh, wood. I felt like that was a really nice classic touch. And I loved the look of the leather just because it was so different. I haven't done anything like that. I thought it was just kind of fun to add in like a modern touch. So I still have to style these and like figure out what works best. And obviously it'll look even cuter when we have the right couch set up. But it's just so fun to see the chairs in here. And they swivel. So it was actually kind of funny when Sawyer was like, are these like baby chairs? I'm like, no, not technically. They don't rock, but the swivel is nice. So, well, this is definitely exciting and new furniture is always just so fun. So I will have all the information about Cheetah Living down below, including these links. And I also have a little code for you guys. Everything you need to know will be down in the description, but whew, these are comfy still lots to do. In fact, when I was building these chairs, I remembered that um, my house cleaners come today. It's every other Wednesday and today's the day, which is perfect since it's <sighs> the theme of this video is like resetting the house. So to have a deep clean will be very, very nice. So they should be here literally any minute. So I will let them do their thing. Um, but I still have lots I need to do and want to show you. I want to show you everything I got from Home Goods, so we will do that in a minute. But I think these would look really cool in our bedroom too. Bring them in there and see what I think, but so good. So while I'm waiting for them to arrive, I'll quickly share what I found at Home Goods. I found some really cute things to like freshen the house up for spring. So I found some new dish towels. But what I like is like the towel is kind of like a soft pink tan, but it has all these cute little like flowers. Really sweet for spring. And then I also grabbed this blanket. It's like a thicker linen, I guess you could say. Like a really soft cottony linen type of blanket. I thought this would be cute in the living room, like on the couch or or actually on our bed or eventually like the nursery but i just loved how soft it was and it has like a good weight to it but yet it's a thin blanket so perfect for spring and for florida and i'm out of breath can you tell oh pregnancy the last thing that i grabbed at home goods was that quilt that i saw yesterday i just fell in love with this when I saw it. I just loved the like sweetness of it, but it wasn't like too girly, but I thought it'd be really fun for like spring and to kind of brighten up the bedroom. So we'll go refresh the bedding in a minute. So it was very, very soft and sweet for the bedroom. So plus I didn't have anything like blue and I didn't want to do anything like too bright because I have nothing that really matches that like any other bedding, but this will go with like all my bedding, all my duvets, all my other throw blankets. So it'll be, it'll be fun to start adding in a little bit of color, <laughs> mixing it up a little bit. It's always nice. <laughs> yeah, that's really cute. I like the stripe and I feel like I can use it many places. This being pregnant thing uh, takes it out of you faster. But you guys all look comfy. <laughs> Okay, so a great hack that I have discovered having dogs that shed is before you deep clean, take your leaf blower and blow out underneath all of your furniture. It does kind of stir up like all the dust. Um, so I try to do it like normally an hour or two before I clean, um, but you wouldn't believe the little maple and daisy bunnies, they're little fur balls that collect. So I actually have been doing this every time before the house cleaners come and it makes a world of difference. They probably wonder <laughs> what the heck happens in here every week. I don't even wanna know what they think about the floors, but the point is it gets really, really clean and it gets out all the dust and hairballs. 
yes, I'm talking to you too, little fur balls out from underneath all of the furniture. So I almost forgot to do it. And it's like one of my favorite things and satisfying to see like what actually comes out. Great hack, highly recommend to do it before you play. Mind you, I do this every week, and you should see the little fur balls that are flying around. That's so gross, but also makes me feel better knowing that it gets actually cleaned up. So, <sighs> gross. Hungry old pizza. Yeah. <laughs> How may I help you, love of my life? Well, prayers. They're both really good looking. Probably the lighter. All right, let's I'll switch it out. Okay, I know Sawyer said the lighter one, and I kind of agree, but I also really like it on the darker. Ooh, I'm torn. Since we're in the uh, mindset of switching it up for spring, let's do actually switch it up. I can always switch it back next time I wash my bedding. Okay, that is pretty. But I know I said in the spirit of refreshing that I wanted to switch out the like bottom layer to that brighter striped quilt. I don't like it, so I want to switch it back. So pretty. I actually like it more over the darker blanket because I feel like it adds a good contrast and a good bright pop but it still has the same tones. Very happy with that. And they just arrived. They are starting in the kitchen. So I am going to get this all put away so they can just take over the house. I will say, getting house cleaners was a decision Sawyer and I made once I got pregnant because I was just getting too overwhelmed with doing the deep clean that I like to do. Um, I just, this has been a godsend and I also love that it's been saving me a ton of time to do like other things and enjoy pregnancy. So it's, it's been great to know that they come for like an hour and a half and totally like Tasmanian double the house and just whirlwind of a clean, three or four of them come at one time and it's just been great. What it actually does and this is what I love, is it allows me to do the deep cleaning that I want to do, not just the surface stuff that I like to maintain the house. Um, so I can take the time and really keep the house clean. So it has alleviated a ton of stress and freed up a ton of t my time um, so I can do other things. Anyways, now I'm rambling, but I just realized a few videos ago, we've talked about that we got house cleaners, but I haven't like reflected on it. And so anyways, it's just been a lifesaver. It really has. Um, very, very thankful that I found them because they have been amazing. <laughs> Bedding has been refreshed. I love it. It looks so pretty. All right, I'm gonna clean this up, get out of their way and put my feet up for a minute. Once they're done, we will pick back up. <laughs> And just like that, <laughs> they are done. They were literally here maybe an hour and 10 minutes and deep cleaned the kitchen, all the bathrooms, mopped and vacuumed and dusted and wiped down the baseboards. Like that's just, it's impressive. I'm not mad about it. So anyways, while they were here, I did organize and clean up and put away the dining room. This always ends up being like my catch-all and it drives me absolutely batty um, and I hate it, but it all just ends up here. Um, so it is now put away and cleaned up and organized. I do have a pile over there of things I do need to do and go through, but it's a lot smaller and looks a lot better. So I may be done for the day. I was hoping to power through the guest room um, but I may have to do that in the morning. Um, it's like the last thing 
on my list that I really want to get done, uh, mainly because my mom is coming into town. I think like it may be a last minute thing, so I actually have to call her and confirm. But the point is that guest room looks ridiculous. It's another catch-all room and it looks like everything that I own there exploded. <laughs> it's so bad. So in the morning, I think I'll tackle that, but I think I hit my limit for today. I think I need to go put my feet up and relax because I'm feeling it. But we made a lot of progress today and the house is looking really nice. Today we tackle this guest room. This guest room is next level bad. I I actually, <laughs> I actually, well, I shouldn't say I don't know how it got this way. I do know how it got this way. This, even more so than the dining room, ends up being my catch-all. Most of this happened right before the gender reveal because I was trying to clean up the house and get all of that decluttered, so it all ended up in here. So there's like, Poshmark that needs to be posted. There's extra decor. There's items that need to be sold. There's things that need to go up into the attic. This whole dresser is covered. Um, I need to create a memory box for like pregnancy and the wedding. And then I have some products and stuff that I'm gonna be doing a little giveaway here soon. Um, maybe we'll do that this week so I can clear out those boxes. Yeah, there's there's a lot, um, but I have faith that I can do it and I can find a home for everything. So without further ado, let's tackle this guest room. We'll just show you real quick what we're dealing with here. So we'll tackle the closet. We'll clear this off, find homes for all of this. We'll need to post all that and clear this so we can get in and out definitely have my work cut out for me so let's get started so i feel like the best place to start with a room this <laughs> disorganized is to take everything out that doesn't need to be in here like the stairs need to go to the attic the doors need to be put somewhere else so i can sell them um so i'm going to just start eliminating what doesn't need to be in here So remember those big boxes that the cheetah living chairs came in? Well, one of those boxes is gonna come in handy. Um, I'm going to move all this stuff that needs to be listed on Poshmark, which my mom doesn't know this yet, but <laughs> she's gonna be helping me do this because this is so much stuff, but I've just been in a like shedding and nesting and like cleaning out mode and I was like not inspired by most of my clothing anymore i mean obviously my body's changing but just like in general like i'm over it i'm over some of these pieces in a good way i'm just like ready to add some new things to my closet but with that being said i need to get it out of here so i'm going to move it into a big box out into the dining room which i know i just cleaned that but it'll be contained in a box so when my mom and i post it's just right there we can take photos let's move all this We're getting somewhere. I can see the floor now. <laughs> Let's work on clearing off the bed and then I'll tackle the dresser. Now to tackle the dresser. I do have to go to Target and get like a memory box for the baby and wedding stuff. Um, so that way I can slide it underneath the bed and add to it but I am going to organize it into piles. So yes, things will be going back onto the bed. It'll be nice to finally have that organized and have a place to put things as more memories and more things come up. So this should be pretty quick. So let's just knock it out. So I'd say I made some serious progress in this room. I'm even impressed with myself and I'm actually even more impressed with how easy it was to organize and clean. Um, I still have a few piles I need to go through. Yeah, it definitely came a long ways today. The only thing I have to do now is wash all the bedding and remake the bed, but 
very, very pleased with my progress in here. <sighs> that was a big one off the list. Hi, Maple. Hi, good girl. Do you have a towel? Do you have a towel? Oh, how? Yes. Hi, big girl. So I think that'll be it for this spring clean slash home refresh. We definitely made some progress in here. I am loving not seeing piles everywhere. Definitely felt good to take these last few days and kind of nest and get the house situated and refreshed. So that'll be it for this video, but I'm very proud of everything I was able to get done. Like some things I was just putting off way, way too long. Be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any pregnancy updates. Uh, the next video will be another pregnancy vlog and I am so excited because my mom is coming in town and we are gonna get some things off the list. She's gonna help me with things around the house. And I just like called her, I was like, mom, I just need you in town. I need you to help prepare and get things done. She's like, okay. <laughs> that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.